Okay, here's the reason you don't buy a TESIP. Never buy TESIP. Anybody thinking about buying TESIP, do not do it unless you really want to modify and change things. Like completely, like way off the wall. So here we go. Uh, I'll start off down here. This is the general specs anybody wants to know. 2023, we got a uh, total height, 33 feet, nine inches from top to bottom, top of the turbine down. We got 30 feet, seven inches to base right here. So from this base at the tilt plate to here, it's 30 feet, seven inches. The turbine itself is 31 and a half inches for just the turbine. That's from the blades from here up to the top of the thing. So it's 31 inches. Then you got the generator base to the turbine, which is basically from this point here to here. And that's only 13 inches. Okay. Then you got what about an air gap about just just over two inches there so that's it for that put these straps on here so straps are all set i put these on i use the uh aluminum brazing rod and i braze the two ends together uh and also made another joint where is it at there's one joints there and then the 90 degree or whatever 45 degree joint here between the two uh just testing with measurements first time around it was 17 inches but then i ended up going 16 inches and it makes the blades thing 17 didn't work so second iteration worked best so there we go and that's on there winds are supposed to kick up thursday friday today's sunday so got a few more days tomorrow it's actually supposed to kick up a little bit so i'm going to probably crank it up if the winds are kicking in the evening and test it out see what it does and it kicks on the uh interface box and then the uh, inverter so hopefully that works uh also just to let you know i did check these uh, this is the uh, flange bearing i purchased is three quarter inch these are not even tightened these set screws because i did not they're concentric they would push the you know bearing out of round for that but uh, that's just riding on that so it just happens to be on the shaft and riding so that's it for now and we'll uh post this up any other suggestions let me know we got everything set. I have to now go back to Lowe's and grab some fittings. I got to take my half inch and bring that up a small nipple and then out 90 degrees, then another 90 and then put my anerometer back up on the uh, post so I can have some wind readings when we do this uh, testing. So absolutely false claims from Tessup. Uh, do not buy one. False claims of four meters starting speed. Nobody out there in the world can show me one that's actually running in four meters of speed, which is 8.9 knots or miles per hour. Absolutely none. So complete lies. British law says they have to state what is actual the product. They're breaking their own law over there. Hopefully a lawyer somewhere contacts me and lets me know like, hey, we can definitely sue these guys. Get your money back for producing something that doesn't even work. So uh, false claims. That's all it is. All right, here we go, and uh, I'll be back after I get the anorometer mounted.